Hi everyone, I uh, had a great uh, opening last night at Pale Fire Brewing for my show, Little Worlds, and um, got very inspired today to make some new panels, some wood panels for my artwork. So um, what came out here to our little workshop, it is um, probably 90 degrees in here. Um, it's just a little sort of outdoor room, kind of like a, a little pool um, next to our pool, sort of like a, I don't even know, like a beach house with these weird windows. Um, but it's where we've got our table saw and our miter saw, and I've got some of my um, panels, uh, or at least the fronts of the panels, sitting here waiting for me to make them into something. So i um, headed to the local lumber store and got myself some um, one by twos or furring strips that I'm going to use for the sides of the panels, and then I will apply the flat birch pieces to the top, and then sand them and finish them and uh, get them ready to paint. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So as I said, um, I use an, a 1 8 inch birch uh, panel uh, ply sort of uh, for the surfaces of my paintings. You can get this at any hardware store um, that sells lumber. Um, I usually get it in a big sheet and then I get it cut at the store and I sometimes I know exactly what um, sizes I'm going to want, sometimes I don't. So I just kind of um, usually go by like a couple feet long um, and then I just kind of I break it into pieces that are going to be easily um, put in my car to bring home and then I kind of decide from there what sizes I'm going to do. So um, I went ahead and measured this out so you can see I've got some lines drawn on there in pencil um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of line this up and use my fence here kind of move that back and forth. Um, I'm going to cut on the on the right side of this line so I'm just going to kind of hold that where the blade is um, and line that up. I'm going to tighten my fence down and then make sure that I put my PPE on here um, so that I can uh, cut some wood. So the way that I make these panels is um, they kind of, uh, the, they're not mitered, they're, they butt up to each other, but they're sort of a, like a pinwheel pattern. So this stripe or this strip on the side goes all the way to the corner, this one does, this one does, and this one does. And what that means is that for the length um, or the width that you're trying to go for, um, you'll need to basically subtract that width of the furring strip from the length that you're trying to attain with your um, with your side pieces. So um, you can see how this one kind of is constructed this way. So you actually will see the nails um, sort of in that pinwheel pattern around the edge as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of measure. There's, <laughs> it's not super precise. Um, uh, one thing I am not is a, um, a fine art wood craftsman, but I can put together a panel. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm going to start by just cutting off a little edge of or end of my furring strip so I can use that as a measurement to figure out how, um, how much to keep off the end for the sides of my panels. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, line up the long piece of wood. I try not to cut it if I can avoid that just because then I can get the most out of um, the longer strip if I cut it apart and, it, and I, don't, I end up with a lot more waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking this small piece that I just created and I'm holding that against the edge here and lining it up with right along the edge here and then I'm pushing up this other piece so that it butts right up against it. And then all I'm gonna do is take my pencil and make
make a little mark and I used to I use a little arrow so that I know which side to cut on so it looks like this and I'm just gonna do this one piece at a time so as I um, cut it apart then I'm gonna do the next side and I'm just gonna keep turning this um, as I go until I've got all four pieces cut so once I have all my pieces cut like I do right here um, I'm going to take them over to uh, the, the belt sander and I'm just going to kind of make sure that each of the edges is nice and smooth uh, before I put it together. So in order to put all of these together, um, I actually start the nails in the sides um, on the ends of those before I glue and then I actually just nail them in. So that's what I'm doing here and I do all four sides and um, put a little bit of glue in between each of those joints and we're good to go. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think I did. It is like 90 degrees in this room. So I am rolling with some sweat, but I got my um, four sides all nailed together. Um, there is wood glue in between each of the joints and when I lay it down on this panel lines up pretty well so I'm excited about that um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a similar um, a similar joinery here and I'm gonna use my wood glue and I'm gonna put um, a little bit of glue all the way around the edge but this time I'm gonna use um, <laughs> I'm gonna use these little tiny um, I forget what they're called. They're like teeny tiny little nails. Um, and they're just enough to kind of hold this um, flat. And usually what I'll do is on a panel this size, um, usually one in each corner is pretty good. But if I do that and then it looks like it's you know sticking up at all on the sides, then I'll do one on um, the middle of each side. It just depends on how big your panel is. So on a really big panel, you'll do these maybe every like three or four inches just to kind of make sure everything stays nice and flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these um, by doing that. And then the last step is just um, running it along the sander, making sure everything fits nice and tight and, uh, and then it's ready to be finished however you wanna do that. So there it is, um, got my panel nice and put together, which is how we want it. And, uh, and then you'll just need to finish it before you start painting. And then um, I'm gonna create another video. It kind of shows you how to do that. Um, so thanks for joining me. Um, I'm gonna try to make a bunch more of these today. Um, hope I don't uh, die of heat exhaustion because it's real, real warm, um, but thanks.